today I'm going to take a look at an external enclosure that I picked up. Uh, I recently upgraded my Intel 27-inch uh, iMac to use an eSATA port. Uh, in doing so, I removed the uh, internal super drive, the slot loading super drive from the iMac. Uh, this is a uh, SATA super drive. A lot of older Macs use parallel ATA. Uh, this is a serial ATA. I wanted an external enclosure so that I could um, install the super drive in here and then have something to use, uh, you know, be able to attach it to the uh, to the Mac. Now, there are a lot of companies that sell um, uh, MacBook, MacBook Pro adapters that let you install a hard drive inside and then uh, pull out the super drive and put it in an enclosure like this. But I wasn't, uh, I didn't need all that. I just wanted the enclosure. So I looked around, uh, found a place called Aya Group that had it uh, 1399 um, pretty cheap uh, it was uh, 20 ish delivered uh, came pretty quick so let's take a look at what we've got here uh, I'm gonna quickly uh, slit open the packaging so this is the uh, Sabrent brand uh, as you can see it's got it says it's Vista and Mac compatible uh, not an official logo so I best that it's not really listed anywhere but the truth is these are passive devices. There's nothing exciting uh, going on. There's not a lot of complicated electronics really. It um, really just has a basic USB controller and a SATA um, a port, the correct one to match the slim SATA that's found on these uh, super drives. So it really isn't a complicated device. I'm not too worried about not having logo compatibility. Now inside the box we have uh, a uh, basic uh, USB power adapter. Uh, power cord. We've got a uh, USB A to B cable and looks like we have the adapter itself. Now it's uh, just a just a little box. Um, take a look at that. Um, you know it's got a slot in here to install the thing. Uh, it came with a, a bezel for the front of a drawer loading um, USB uh, or a drawer loading uh, drive but uh, you know it's uh, it's really a pretty basic basic device. It also came with a uh, driver CD that I probably won't use, a couple screws, and that's about it. Okay, so we're going to install the uh, super drive. Uh, we're going to install the super drive right here in the uh, slim USB enclosure. So um, the back of the super drive has the uh, eSATA slim connector, and it's hard to see, but there's another one in there too to accept this so it doesn't fit. See there's a tray attached by default so let's take care of that first. So there we have the uh, bare Apple SuperDrive and the uh, bracket that Apple uses to hold it within the iMac. So this is the part that we're going to install in the enclosure. Let's set this aside and take a look at what we do next. So we're just going to slide this in here. Gonna work it in there gently. Push it down and we are good to go. Now on the back here we've got some screws to hold it in place. Luckily the Sabrent kit comes with the proper screws to uh, hold the drive in place so I'm just going to fix those now. Alright there we have it. Um, now of course there's no pretty bezel on the front and the one that comes with this uh, Sabrent drive is for drawer loading uh, DVDs, so of course it doesn't work. But, um, you know, if you, if you don't mind this, you can just use this. Otherwise, there is a bezel you can order to, um, to make it look a little bit prettier.